Tomorrow, a local group is being honored in Columbus for their work in following the efforts of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Joining us now is Landis Powell, Michael Coppage with Black Arts Speaks. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate your time. Thanks Thank for you. having Thank us. You. So first and foremost, we understand that you guys are getting this award tomorrow. Before we get into what led up to that, what does it mean to you both to be recognized in such a way in honor of MLK? Um, I think just being recognized um, is always an honor. Yeah. But being recognized and putting Dr. King in it just gives you something, you know, just makes your heart glad to know that you're living in the purpose that you planned on. So that's what it means for me. Yeah, yeah and to me it just feels like being a part of, a, a small part of a, a large legacy and, and that arc of, of history and that arc of moral justice that he spoke about so eloquently. Uh, you know, it, creating work to, that embodies the spirit of that, I think, is just really important work and um, just kind of helps validate the things that we do. I know you guys have been a part of a lot of different projects, but are there any that stick out in your mind as ones that you feel really do embody the spirit of him in that sense? Well, I think, I think we're most known for the Black Lives Matter mural. Yeah. Uh, but as a collective, you know, there's such a, we have such a deep bench. There's so many people who work directly in the community whose specific focus is maybe school children. Mm. There are people whose focus is gun violence. My focus is social justice. So we all kind of take a, a chunk of the, the things and address them individually. And, and when we come together collectively, it just resonates uh, a, a lot, a lot more. Now you mentioned the mural, but what are maybe some of the other projects that maybe people aren't as familiar with that you guys have been working on? Um, as a collective, we're working on one that is actually taking the mural and standing up the letters in different communities oh, wow. and focusing on programming with the theme of the letter. So thanks to a, some great sponsors like Fifth Third Bank and United Way, they're actually giving us the uh, money we need to stand up the letter R in Roseland. And the programming is about the dangers of the bias of black Man, thinking of you know how you approach black men and then we're standing up the A in Avondale and it's about gun violence and really talking through how we save us so I'm excited about those two projects that's coming on as artists they have hundreds of projects so. yeah I mean I mean there are many many projects in the works some of them we aren't able to talk about just sure. because they're not developed enough but uh, from paintings to sculpture to murals to you know, plays. I mean, we we really do have all kind of pistons firing, and we're just trying to produce images and objects that really uh, dismantle some of the uh, the systemic issues that we're all kind of addressing, mm -hmm. and just trying to make make the 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 place more equitable, I guess. Before we wrap up here, is there somewhere people can go, perhaps a website I think you guys have, to learn more or if they'd like to join the organization and help you guys out? Yeah, um, everyone can join. It's open to everyone and it's www.blackartspeaks.com to learn more information and to keep up with what we're doing. Okay. Thank you both so much for coming on this morning. Congratulations on the award and thank you for your work in our community. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be